Pool season is here, and for many parents, figuring out which sunscreen to use on your children can be overwhelming. Especially when some products marketed specifically for kids aren't actually recommended for them. WY50 source Ashley Swan joins us live and local tonight to explain. Ashley? Parents, um, of course, need to give their children some sort of protection if they're going to be outdoors. When it comes to what is best, local pediatricians recommend parents stick to the basics. From sunscreens with varying SPFs to sensitive based formulas and sprays, the options for parents are overwhelming. Adding to the confusion, new rankings and lists labeling certain products found on store shelves dangerous, even cancer causing. There's so much still more we need to know about those chemicals, and um, you know, it's something the FDA is always working on and that we're always looking for more information. Among the products being studied for safety, spray sunscreens. Despite their kid-focused packaging, hey. Parkside Pediatrics pediatrician Dr. Justin Mull says the FDA doesn't recommend sprays for children. There's a few issues with them. You don't get quite as good of coverage, um, and they aerosolize, and so a lot of times they can, especially with young children, they breathe it in, and it can irritate their airways or or easily get in their eyes. Dr. Mall says lotion-based formulas are a much safer bet. The recommendation is to use a SPF of 30 or higher. Um, go for something that is tear-free, hypoallergenic, PABA-free, and to apply it um, at least 20 to 30 minutes before being in the sun. And as for lists, such as the Environmental Working Group's recently released Hall of Shame, Dr. Mall says that's where the abundance of options comes in handy. There's so many options out there. Avoiding those added chemicals is a fine, safe idea. And Dr. Mall is quick to point out what we do know for sure is that any sunscreen is better than none at all. For more information on which products are ranked best for safety, you can head to our website, WYFF4.com. Ashley Swan, WYFF News 4, live tonight in Greenville. Ashley,